are just a few hours away from another mass mandate here in Southern Nevada and coronavirus cases are on the rise. There's now more than 1300 new cases since yesterday, lifting our seven day average above the 1000 mark. The state now bringing back masks and encouraging vaccinations in an attempt to lower those rates. But businesses and residents we spoke with are split on the new restrictions. 13 Action News reporter Abel Garcia spoke to a local business owner who is considering taking it a step further, requiring vaccinations for their workers, while another business says it should be a personal choice. And he joins us live now. And Abel, what did you learn? Trisha, I had business owners on both sides of the spectrum. Again, as you just mentioned, I had one business owner who says that even if it does become a mandate by the CDC, she is not going to require her employees to get vaccinated. And then on the other side, I had another business owner who says they will require and they will gladly enforce it to make sure all their patients are safe. With the spike in Delta variant cases, conversations are being held by many business owners in the Valley. Lena Terraganova is one such business owner in Henderson. It's really hard to believe people. It's really hard to believe anybody at this point. In many COVID-19 hotspots throughout the nation, like San Francisco, Seattle, and New York, businesses are requiring staff and customers to be vaccinated. Here in Southern Nevada, currently there is no requirement. We're kind of all just a bunch of guinea pigs in the CDC world, in my opinion. Tara Ganova says in regards to mask mandates and safety protocols, they will follow those, but requiring a vaccine is not happening at their location. It's not up to me to decide what the employee wants. If they want to get vaccinated, I can't force that upon them. But a couple of doors down from Tara Ganova's location is Prestige Dental. Office manager Teresa Tang says if the CDC requires vaccination of employees, it will be enforced at their location. We follow and adhere to CDC guidelines. That's it. No, no simple question asked. Tang says even before COVID, her team has always used a correct PPE in order to treat patients, adding if another form of protection is required, they will do it. We do not want to get cross contamination. We don't want to get exposed whatever diseases our patients bring into the office. Last December, we spoke to an employment attorney who tells us that if you do or if an employer does require these vaccinations for all of their employees, that they will be justified in order so that they can maintain and preserve a safe workplace inside of their location. Reporting live in Henderson, April Garcia, 13 Action News. Abel, thank you.